Hello and welcome. While we are creating our RDS instance, we have to go through many options. Like one of the options we have is DB parameter group. We have one another option known as option group. We have to understand use case of all these options. Why? Because in real world scenario, you are actually using it. So here, I'm going to explain you DB parameter group and option group together. Let's start. Hello and welcome. I hope you are enjoying our AWS series. You know, we have big plan to add Azure series even videos for each and every DevOps technologies. But for this, we want some support from you guys. You can support us by only doing two things. First, subscribe to this channel. And yes, only subscribe to this channel if you are thinking that these videos is actually giving you some, some values. It will help you to pass any AWS exam like AWS Cloud Practitioner, Solution Architect Associate or even Solution Architect Professional. Second thing is, Share these videos with other IT professionals. Learning process is actually not expensive. If you, if you are getting better or proper instructor or a mentor, it will really help you to develop your skill. If you are thinking that we are providing you a proper right path to improve your skill, your friends also deserve this, right? And for this, you have to share this channel videos with them. So, I am just requesting you to do these two tasks for me. One, subscribe to our channel and share with other IT professionals. Thank you. Now you can continue your week. First of all, you know, people having one uh, perception in their mind that AWS RDS is actually platform as a service offering from AWS. If we are using this, we don't have control on our operating system of DB instance or database engine of our DB instance. Yes, it's right, but AWS providing us so many facilities so we can control our database behavior as well. We can also add features for our database engine as well. Now to use this, we have to understand DB parameter group and option group. We are going to start with DB parameter group. Now before I am going to explain you this, I want you to find out this particular option here in AWS console. Right now I am inside my Amazon RDS console and I am going to create database. Here I am going to choose my SQL database. Now I'm going to scroll down here. Let's choose multi AZDB instance. Now scroll down and here you will get this additional configuration. When you click over here, you will have two options, parameter group and option group. Here you are getting a default option for this that is already configured. To find out this default option, you can click over here in the dashboard. Here we have parameter group and here we have this default parameter group. You can create your custom parameter group according to your requirement. You just need to click on create parameter group. Then we have option groups as well. Here this is our default one and you can create your own option group. But now the main question that we have like why we need to create these two. Let's understand this using mind map first. So the first is DB parameter group. The main purpose of DB parameter group is Parameter group control the setting within database engine itself, like how, like how it handles memory, connections, and performance tuning. RDS, of course, it is a platform as a service, but they are giving us option to customize database engine according to our requirement. They are giving us more than 500 parameters for for MySQL database that we can configure according to our requirement. Here I have some example for parameters. Let's say that we have one example of max connection. 
what is the use case by setting up this parameter you can control how many users an application can connect at once so if you want that okay uh, for my database i want only 100 concurrent connections you can set up this in the max connection you have to create one db parameter group according to your requirement you have to find out this specific parameter and you have to set up this while you are creating your database then you will specify this db parameter group there is one another option like query cache size store query result to avoid re-running of the same query here if you go to this particular option of parameter group and if you look at this default one if you open this here you will get this list of parameters supported by AWS RDS for MySQL and look at this we have almost 553 parameter settings that can provide us like they are providing us to control our database engine if I'm going to talk about overall use case of parameter group I can say that you would access parameter group if you need to change how database engine behaves such as allowing more connection or optimizing memory usage I can say that it is your own modification for your database engine. Now same way, we have one another option known as option group. If I am talking about option group purpose, option group are used to add extra features or extension to RDS instance that aren't part of core database engine. For each and every database engine we have, we can add plugins, we can add more features, which is not part of core database engine. So here we have option group, we can use this to add more features into our database. This could include the things like the backup, data encryption or specific plugin. Here I am giving you one example as well. No, I am giving you three examples. Let's say that there is a one feature or a plugin called Oracle OEM. OEM stands for Oracle Enterprise Manager. Provides web interface for database monitoring and management. By default, when you will use Oracle Database, OEM feature is not part of core database. So if you want to add this plugin, you can create option group, set up your plugins and while you are creating your database, select your own option group. It will add OEM plugin for your Oracle database. Same way we have SQL Server Transparent Data Encryption known as TDE. Now by default, it is not a part of SQL, but you can add this. So here, encrypt database file to secure data at rest. For example, the data stored in this will be encrypted. So you can add this feature TDE with the use of option group. Same way, there is a one option in MySQL known as MySQL MAM cache. Cache frequently access data in memory for faster re retrieval. Now, if you look at the difference between this, DB parameter group is actually to add behavior. If we are going to talk about option group, it is to add features. So here we have use case of option group. You would use option group if you need to enable specific features or add functionality that is not configured through the typical parameters. Now here, I am giving you very simple example. If you learn this example, you will get clear understanding about, exam, uh, about the difference between DB parameter group and option group. So let's start. Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course. You are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course. And we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So there will be total 240 videos. I hope we are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.